Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus, right hand of Zeus, and we are back with another one. And today we are talking about Call of Duty. But before we get into that wonderful modern warfare beta, Hit that like and subscribe button if you find any information informative, helpful in any way. But I'm here to give you them facts. First off, let's start about talking about this was the biggest, the biggest Call of Duty beta ever. Now, last year we know they fell off 40% in sales, and it wasn't because Vanguard wasn't good. Vanguard had World War II, and we are World War II out. And now we are back to the sequel from that 2019 Modern Warfare and boy, Activision and Infinity Ward has returned in glorious fashion from invasion mode to 20 versus 20 to ground war, that battlefield style Call of Duty twist on it to the multiplayer having revamped shooting controls revamp customization with weapons oh man proximity voice chat man but let me tell you something i had a blast for two weeks starting off on my ps5 then ending up on my xbox series x i enjoyed the gameplay with my community man i haven't had a game that made me play for 13 hours straight and stream for six hours straight i've broken records for the one away dragons tv youtube channel so let's get into what this game entails the shooting mechanics are definitely more realistic the sound effects was more realistic now shout out to my man scrubby scrub when we first played on playstation he told me, he said, Lemon, man, these footsteps are OP. And I was like, man, I like it. But they end up adjusting the footsteps where you could definitely tell the difference between your team's footsteps and the enemy's footsteps. And they toned them down from how far you can hear footsteps in the game. What they did was, Infinity Ward, they definitely paid attention to the community in the beta and they made some adjustments people really didn't understand the weapons and the customizations but you gotta realize people they didn't give us everything in the beta but they did give us a sweet taste of what this game offers now if you're a call of duty fan and you have been waiting for this game and you didn't get a chance to play that beta call of duty is back in a big way and also you are able to have kill streaks as usual in call of duty you could do about points or you could switch it to kills this was a great option to the game because some people like excuse me myself i do a lot of team based orientated gameplay and i want to be rewarded for picking up my teammates doing the objectives so you that's the that's the skill base that you can go with or in view of straight up assassin you can have where your kills count towards your kill streaks i just think giving the player the option was absolutely awesome now let's talk about these levels they was outstanding they had tight game gameplay tight corridors they also had nice choke points i thought they well well delivered on these maps and this is just the beginning of what we're gonna be offering. We didn't even get a chance to play that Warzone 2 that's dropping in November. Man, if you are interested in Call of Duty, they are back and they are on fire. The assassination kills as you see here. Woo! I had a blast playing this game. I got the Vault Edition. I made it to max, max level 30. In a matter of hours, your boy Lemon was putting in some work, man. And that, and this game is definitely bringing fresh breath, a fresh breath to this series. And it's good that they brought back the modern weapons. I didn't see any complaints. I did hear about people saying, oh, if Microsoft bought them, I'm not playing Call of Duty. Let's get out that cap train, baby. Stop capping. We all know this game is awesome. 
We all know the ground war was awesome. We all know invasion mode was awesome. Vehicles, helicopter drops. Man, you see that beta gun right there? Yeah, your boy Lemon was maxed out. Man, I see hours of my life being taken away by this game and I'm definitely back on board. I skipped out on Vanguard, I beat the single player, the multiplayer, eh. But this game is back with viciousness. This is what we wanted from Call of Duty. Great shooting, new, new skill trees, different way to custom your weapons, better map layout, because the museum right here was my favorite. I loved it in Domination, loved it. And if you out here capping and you gonna skip out on this game because Microsoft gonna be purchasing Activision Blizzard, you just gonna be lost in the source and you will be by yourself because the people do not agree with that. And this sniper rifle right here, man, I was defending Bravo and I enjoyed laying the smackdown. Let me know in these comments how you felt about the beta if you had a chance to play and are you excited come the next coming weeks because it'll be out soon and if you got that vault edition you will be playing early the campaign and yes your boy lemon's gonna be streaming that too because at one away dragons we cover everything here from gameplay to tech news and tech reviews facts hit that like and subscribe button i'll see you in tomorrow's video and look up for the dragons Den podcast this weekend 6 p.m. Be there or be square. And as I always say, bring your game and not your name. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is the facts. It's on fire. Get ready, soldiers. Let's get it.